Hello everyone, in this video we will see about service catalog and this is the part 1 of the series for the service catalogs as this is an extensive topic so I'll be dividing these videos in multiple parts so please subscribe to my channel to get notified for the latest videos as well as don't forget to hit that like button so today's agenda would be the introduction to service catalogs what are the roles present for service catalogs and catalogs, categories, items and how can we navigate as an end user and as an admin into catalogs, categories and items and then we will see a demo in ServiceNow how to create them first of all the introduction what is service catalog so a service catalog is an organized and curated collection of any and all business and information technology related services that can be performed by for or within an enterprise so for example if you want to order any laptop or any keyboard that is presented in a catalog in your intranet or on your portals and you can easily order them from there it can also be any services as well basically it's like an e-commerce site where you can view what is present in your intranet or on your portal and you can order as you like service catalog is available for employees of the organization they can go ahead and request new laptops new mobile phones or maybe new reports it is also present for the customers if an organization want to display what kind of products they have or any inquiry if any customer has so they can do it through service catalog even for the suppliers there can be multiple catalog items for example if they want to raise a case or they want to raise an incident or they want to request some item from the organization so basically service catalog consists of products and services as we discussed in the previous slide so it can be a laptop or it can be a desktop as well or any product for example the keyboard or any computer accessory like mouse and anything also you can order furniture, chair if your organization permits that and in services you can reset your password through service catalogs or also you can request for new reports or m maybe for new services for example if you want to restart a server that can also be done through service catalog so it's a very powerful feature of service now next is what are the roles present to manage service catalogs the first one is the service now admin so they can manage everything in the service catalog application including catalogs categories catalog items and any advanced functions like scripting and all and also we can have some catalog administrator who can also create new categories catalogs or items but they don't have access to do any coding because that is limited only to admins next is catalog managers so catalog administrator can assign specific catalogs to some of the managers like if they want them to handle a very specific catalog they can do it through catalog manager role next is catalog editors so catalog editors have the same function as catalog managers but what catalog managers can do is they can assign multiple catalog editors for their own catalog but catalog editors cannot further give role to anyone else so next is catalogs so service catalog enables you to set up one or more service catalogs and provide self-service opportunities you can organize your catalog offerings by using the ability to publish multiple catalogs targeted to specific audience you can have cat multiple catalogs for example there are some out of the box as well technical catalog resources or service catalog and under these you can build categories and items so this is a way to segregate everything next is categories so under catalog there is categories so categories organize service catalog items into logical groups and as we discussed in the roles slide that administrator and catalog administrator can create or configure these categories defining their characteristics and adding content such as catalog items to them so this is an example which is also out of the box so you can create a category under service catalog for example and then you can create further categories under that as well so let's take an example if there is on the top if it's service catalog under that there can be hardware and under that there can be more categories 
like laptop tablets printers desktops and etc what are items so under categories we have items and these are the actual goods or services which you want to order so catalogs and categories are basically to segregate everything but items are the actual items which you want to order for example a dell laptop or maybe any service as well so this is the relationship which i explained in last three slides on the top we have catalog which is created in sc underscore catalog table under that we can have categories which is stored in sc underscore category table and under that we can have catalog items which are stored in sc underscore cat underscore item table so now we will see how can we navigate to out of the box catalogs categories and items as an end user i will navigate to service now and i will open the service portal so this is where actually end users or the self service users actually go and try to request an item so if you see here this is out of the box service portal and i will click on request something which will actually take me to the service catalog of service now and on the left hand side you can see the categories so we are under service catalog and these are the categories which are present under service catalog like business application can we help you hardware this is the one which we had in slide so under hardware category there are multiple categories again and if i click on one of those categories you will be able to see the items which are actually under desktop or if i click on mobile i will be able to see what my organization can offer in mobile phone category so these are basically the items next is how can we navigate to out of the box catalog categories and items as an admin so for that i will go to the native view and i will type here maintain and you will be able to see maintain catalogs maintain categories and maintain items so let's click on catalogs first of all and you can see these are the some catalogs which are present out of the box and if i click on one of those catalogs you will be able to see the details for this particular catalog the background color the description and the image and what are the categories present under this so there are 40 categories which are present under service catalog so for example if i click on desktop you will be able to see catalog items under desktop which we had seen as an end user as well the executive desktop alternatively you can click on maintain categories and go to the list of all the categories which are present also we can click on maintain items and it will display all the items which are present out of the box or your custom items as well next is the demo where we will create a new catalog called training catalog and under that catalog we will create two categories service now and sales force and under service now category we will create admin training and developer training catalog item and under sales force we will create only admin training so let's quickly jump to service now as an admin and try to create these catalog items categories and catalog i will again go to maintain catalog i will click on new button and i will name it as training catalog i can give the description here as well and i can give any background color i can even add an image i will just skip all of that right now and if you want to assign any catalog manager to this you can do it in this step only next is we have to create two new categories called service now and sales force so i will give the title as service now and i can give any image or any desktop icon as well or any header icon as well i'll just skip that as of now and i'll say submit i will be returned back to the catalog page under where i can see service now is created i'll create another category called sales force again i will paste the description here and i'll again submit it and you should be able to see under training catalog there are now two new categories and i will click on service now category and i will be able to add a catalog item from here only if i click on new 
I can create a new catalog item called admin training and you can see here that the category already has been picked up as service now I can give any short description as well here and then I will submit this or save this then I will go back to service now category and then again I will check that admin training catalog item has been created I will create a new one called developer training and I will paste the short description and submit it again and now there are two new catalog items created under category service now I will go back to the catalog and I will click on Salesforce and I will create a catalog item under this I'll click on new and I will say admin training and I will submit this now after adding catalog categories and items we should make them available on our service portal for that you will have to go back to the native view type portal and click under port service portal and then portals select the service portal in which you want to display your catalog item in our case it is SP I'll scroll down at the bottom and you can see a tab called catalogs and here only service catalog has been selected I will click on edit and you should be able to see your training catalog and just save this I will update this record and I will refresh this page and you can see a drop down coming up called service catalog and training catalog if I click on training catalog you will be able to see two new categories if I click on service now there are two new catalog items called admin training and developer training and under Salesforce there is admin training so this is the basic overview of the catalogs in service now in next video we will see how to create variables under these catalog items and how to order a catalog item thank you for watching this video I hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel and let me know in comments if you have any questions